Stone must have been, I wasn't at the last one, but all the previous ones. I think there was a cooler atmosphere, um, less, uh, shall I say, rowdy behavior on the part of the board, uh, or, uh, or some of us. But um, an equal amount of in information dealt as well as more than perhaps in all the other years put together information coming back and promises. And it's down to just one thing here, which is, you know, uh, hardly any guys to say that it's due to the fact that they managed to grab Tom Albanese, the former CEO of Rio Tinto, the world's biggest mining company, in effect to act as their, or whatever, their white watcher, their green facer. He's a very skilled man. He's an extremely skilled man, and he really is a knowledgeable person. It takes quite a bit to, to fence with him, as I've experienced in the uh, annual general meetings. Now, I think the core question is, does he stand the hope in hell of actually turning this country as uh, and I think it's uh, the answer is very simple. He does not, so long as Agarwal and his cronies are in charge of this uh, of this company. In my experience of mining companies for more years than I can remember, the answer from the very beginning has been the worst, uh, the worst company many uh, aspects and the least like company no. prepared to listen. Yeah. Uh, a company was yeah. op operated virtually fearlessly, fearlessly on the London Stock Exchange primarily because it had not got the, uh, the response um, from uh, the British yeah. companies and shareholders and investors that one would expect of, uh, of, uh, of such a company. Right. Uh, I asked, and so, so did Simon. Basically, we presented a report called the Sakshi Report. It is a report on uh, a judicial finding on why the worst disasters occurred not only within the Vedanta group, but I think if you measure it against any disasters for which a British company has been responsible for anywhere in the world over the last 20 or more years. Uh, this is the most egregious example of when at least 42 workers were buried alive where the uh, chimney in the Indian state of Chattisgarh was being constructed one night, 20, one afternoon, the 23rd of September 2009, suddenly the topmost part of the being built chimney collapsed and literally all the workers who were working out there, and many of the workers below, were buried alive. In fact, and a point that we, uh, we didn't raise was that the company, Vedanta, moved in to that particular the site of disaster within a few hours of it having occurred and bulldozed a great deal of the debris, and along with it, almost certainly, many of the people who had died in the disaster. Never been anything resembling a post post mortem and attempt to recover those bodies. Now, the defense, Mr. Agarwal's defense, was basically based on well, it was a terrible accident. It's the worst one I've ever experienced in my life. Um, he gave the impression that he stayed awake, has stayed awake every night since morning for the for the people. <laughs> uh, this inquiry found Vedanta primarily responsible and when it came to a discussion of the compensation to be given to the families of the dead, the killed workers, he said it's three hundred what was it Simon? Oh three thousand rupees? Three thousand pounds. Three thousand pounds, sorry, yes. It's three thousand pounds, which he said is better than the compensation rate that would be offered by any other Indian company in these circumstances. Just what the compensation would be for a family in this country which has suffered in a similar manner. We're talking of hundreds of thousands, if not many millions. And of course, we're talking about a criminal prosecution, would be talking about a criminal prosecution for corporate manslaughter um, if it occurred here. Well, the one thing we got out of it was that while we were anticipating that the company might well try and dismiss the. Um, our attempt to publish this report, 
uh, as being subdued. So in fact, the chairman did say, oh, yes, the report is subdued. It was, of course, pointed out it's not subdued. It said maybe subdued to in India, but it's not subdued in this country. So the report was presented to the company. We now feel free, will feel free to publish it. I hope it will go online later uh, today. And, um, uh, well, whatever... Something about peace, I think. Yeah, that's all I right, said. <laughs> and whatever else we, whatever you tell us, we can make of it. So, uh, we will do. Uh, I don't know if Simon wants to know. He doesn't want, obviously, want to add. Yes, of course.